1997 with Coach Chris Giesman, team wins the state championship, runs the table. We got to start with game number one, a one point win against Valparaiso. You know, have a chance to, in a game against uh, Coach Delahan, matched up with him, lost that one there, but what a great run, beating a very good Bloomington South, beating Fort Wayne Snyder along the way in the tournament, taking care of Valparaiso a, a second time. Uh, Chris, what do you think about this group? Uh, anytime you win at all, it's, it's special. Oh, it was, uh, we really had uh, a lot of people really came through and really elevated the game. I uh, started Kevin Nicolini, the quarterback. He uh, he had really, uh, this was the, uh, like the first year he, he started as a senior. Really had a great year. Really had a good state finals. But uh, I remember the first thing, this is the first time we played uh, Valparaiso. We had a bad snap on a punt. We clear with punter's head that set up other scores. And uh, anyway, it was 13-12 and uh, Late in the game, we went like fourth and one and their territory won a quarterback snake. I thought we made it, everybody thought we made it with officials moved it back. And one of our guards stopped, he said, he starts yelling, officials said, you move the ball and everything. And I'm mad, I'm yelling too. We kick the kid out, well, that means you gotta mess the next game too. So I go out there and I said, wait a minute. The kid's name Brian Martin, I said, Brian, Apologize. Hey, I said, you can't kick him out. I mean, he's just, go back to the huddle. I said, he didn't mean it. <laughs> they let him stay in the game, but that was uh, that was a good thing. But that was a heck of a game, 13 to 12, and uh, I really, uh, off, off improved a lot. That was, uh, they only had, I believe, two losses that year, that one and their last one against us. Uh, yeah, another thing that was uh, uh, the Ben Davis game jumps out at me big time for this reason. We had like four or five starters out. They got hurt in uh, in the, the the week before and kind of run away. But we had four guys. Four I think it was four to start with weren't going to be able to play. One of them was our leading tackler and so on. So we knew we were in trouble, but we but we got it. We got it, uh, we moved some guys around. We thought we we're gonna be in good shape. And I was Friday for school, game day. I was, uh, Corey and I were drinking coffee back in the office before school started and uh, assistant principal came in and said, you hear? No. <laughs> so the Lenski boys, Aaron and Anthony, the twins, they were in a car wreck and uh, neither one of them are going to be able to play tonight. Well, one was our second leading tackler at linebacker. There was our tight end and we had a bunch. Of, so now, I mean, we don't even have any moves to make. And the fact is, uh, you know, we felt like we were, if we, if we saw them in the tournament and we knew it was a long ways away, we knew we were going to have a lot stronger team. And I know, uh, I know Dick said, told somebody down there, he says, we aren't as good as Bloomington uh, nor, but he said, I know we're better than Penn. Well, that's because he beat us. And the other thing our scout said, uh, we were playing up at Fort Wayne Snyder and they were now waiting for the result of the game, waiting for a, uh, you know, to, to trade the films. And uh, and they just beaten Ben Davis when they, and, and Snyder was maybe, uh, I think uh, Bloomington was number one team in the state, Snyder's number two. Russ told me the best, best team he'd had at that time. He said he, all four of his down linemen got D1 scholarships. He was just, when he, that game was over, he took off for me. I couldn't even catch up with him and talk to him. He just, he just walked all by himself way off in the dark. He didn't even want to talk to anybody or see anybody. And I, know, I mean, I know how that is. I felt the same way myself. But, so that was a big win, but anyway, they know they they traded Penn film to Penn Davis and seen us minus then six starters after the Alinsky rag. So uh, we weren't the same team, but they were saying. But anyway, uh, Dave Manspeaker is one of the scouts down there trading film. And he said when they announced that Penn won, their whole locker room started cheering and high fiving because. They'd seen us against Ben, they just pounded Ben Davis, 
figured, all right. And uh, so <clears throat> that all played into our hands. And uh, so that was, uh, that was uh, you know, kind of interesting. And that summer, the other thing, <laughs> that summer all we'd heard is about from uh, college coaches and kids, how good, how many good players uh, Bloomington North had. They had a linebacker that wanted to run with wideouts and running backs at the, uh, at the, at the football camps and was beating them. And uh, they had a big, big tackle committed early to IU and this and that. And uh, they had like a number of kids going to Ball State. They, it was a heck of a team. And uh, I remember thinking, man, we won't have to play them. We, we won't be at the Dome this year after two straight years. Well, there we were, and there we were playing them, and uh, I couldn't believe it. And 21-20, uh, and uh, I remember calling up Mo. This is all kind of out of order because I was going to talk about some other things earlier. I remember talking, calling up Mo uh, the next week, and I said, Mo, I thought I want to just tell you a couple things about the game. I was going to tell I was very impressed with you. He said, hey, don't apologize. He said, you're the best team. He said, I looked at that film a hundred times. You're better than us. I mean, he said that right to start with. So, uh, you know, sometimes it's like <clears throat> I coach like Sharpie does. I, I see the worst in our team and the best in our opponents. I know if I was playing us, I know exactly what I'd do would give us problems. I'm just terrified somebody else is going to figure it out. And when I see the other team, I see their best plays and said, oh man, how can we stop this? So, I mean, that's just kind of the way we go. And our players like it like that. They said, if I'm ever like optimistic in game, they get nervous because <laughs> he said, you never do that unless you think they're better than us and you try to bring our spirits up. He said, oh, we like it when you just try to scare us. So uh, anyway, that was a heck of a thing. Those, uh, that uh, Snyder win, down there in some of the worst weather conditions I've ever seen. They were, they were beat two undefeated teams to finish up the year. And uh, if it wasn't for us, Valpo would have been undefeated as well. In 97, uh, all league performance, Aaron Lenski, uh, offensive tackle Brian Martinick, uh, offensive guard uh, Dustin Clayton, centered uh, Tad Crowell, uh, Kevin Nicolini, your quarterback David Miller, who had a great career as your kicker, Mike McBride, down lineman, Anthony Linsky, linebacker, Brad Mahout, uh was a defensive back. A lot of kids got lots of uh, postseason love. Yeah, they were, uh, I mean, when you win the state, you, you're going to get that kind of stuff. I had a, uh, one time I had a parent come in and, and uh, tell me that he wanted his son, he said, this preseason, he said, my son's, we wanted to make All-State, and we wanted him to get a scholarship. I said, let me tell you two things. I said, there's only two reasons to play football at Penn. Number one is to have fun. Number two, help Penn win games. Those are the only two reasons. The other two aren't reasons. So if we have a good year, our good players get rewarded. And like you said, we got a lot of, I mean, when you have a, when you win the state, a lot of them are get rewarded. And I said on a, a scholarship, you probably got a better chance at Penn than you do most anywhere because every Midwest school and a lot of big schools outside the Midwest stop at Penn every year because of our record and they want to check on our kids. So as far as scholarship goes, if he's worthy, he'll get one because he's going to be seen. Number two, if we win the state or do have a great year, he'll probably make all state. But I mean, those are not the reasons to be playing. And uh, let's have fun. Let's help Penn win. And uh, that's 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 been that's been the thing, you know, I've always had. So yeah, a lot of them did get love. And like I say, we again, when you win the state, you ought to. <laughs> McGann had a great year rushing the football, eight and a half yards of carry. Nicolini, that, I'm thinking that was his senior year. Mm -hmm. Does that sound right? 53% uh, passing. Percentage, 20 touchdowns, only seven picks over the course of the year against a really formidable schedule. So mm -hmm. those two offensive uh, leaders right there had pretty good years. Yeah, and you know, uh, that was really the, the only year both of them started, McGann right. and then uh, mm -hmm. 
McGann is uh, probably very, very close to having the single season rushing record. I would, uh, like I say, I'm not a stat guy, and uh, we didn't keep the stats like we should. I kept them for each year, and then I, then we got on the next year. But I think uh, that was probably close to the the top rushing performance in Penn High history. And uh, boy, was he good returning kicks. Uh, it, it was great. It, it was guys on their own. They they try to squib it so we couldn't get it, and they'd lateral it back to him. I mean, we didn't even teach. The player just said, "Here, Sean, give it to him. Get out of his way." He had great, great speed. He really. Had, we had what we thought was going to be our uh, number one running back was ineligible academically. So he, did, he couldn't play for, he ended up playing some in the tournament. But anyway, McGann then had to pick up all the slack, and he did. He had an absolutely great year. And uh, Kevin Nicolini basically won his scholarship at Indianapolis in the state finals. He, uh, he had an unbelievable game passing down there. and. Uh, uh, we had, you know, against cover four, we had some special things, but it's going to take a quarterback with a strong arm to throw it. He boilated in there. As a matter of fact, he had, uh, he had Zach Hill with, uh, on a fade uh, late in the game. That's when we scored our go-ahead touchdown. Okay. That was 1990.